your points. Seize theirs. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Bush and today I've got another Guild Wars 2 video for you. Today I'm going to be looking at the new structured PvP map, Skyhammer. Uh, this came out in the most recent update, the Bazaar of the Four Winds. And this video is going to be part review and part overview. I'm just going to go over what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And maybe some tips, but I haven't really played it enough to know how to play it effectively. Uh, just to start though, I am a bit of a PvP scrub. Uh, I play World vs. World a lot, but that's not really the same as structured PvP. But I I think I do okay in this video. I think I, we might even lose at the end. I can't really remember. But uh, you'll see a little bit of footage and you'll kind of get an idea of what this new map is all about. So, like other structured PvP maps, this is a conquest game mode. Uh, so that means there are three command or control points that you have to capture and while you capture it you gain points and you gain more points depending on how many of the control points you have so if you have two control points you will gain two points every x amount of seconds if you have three points you'll gain you know three and that's the same for all the uh, maps on the structure pvp in guild wars 2 and to be honest, I'm not that disappointed about that. I like this game mode. I'd like to see some more game modes. Maybe some capture the flag or even something really wacky like a take on Guild... Uh, sorry, Team Fortress 2's payload. Uh, but I'm not too disappointed about this uh, as a, just having the same game mode as other ones. So as you can see here, I'm just capturing control points. And there's something a little bit unique about this map in comparison to the other ones. There's a little bit more emphasis on ledges and using your environment. As you can see in front of me here you can see these sort of blue translucent platforms and those can break and shatter and if you fall down them you will fall to your death into a big pit with loads of worms and you'll probably die from the fall but if you don't die from the fall I'm pretty sure the worms will sort you out. Also you can see these jump pads which I'm using quite frequently. These are really fun and it kind of reminds me of something like Super Monday Night Combat even though it doesn't have anything to do with you know the MOBA style that Super Monday Night Combat had. Um, I really miss that game. Anyway, it's also got sort of the aesthetic of Ratasum and the Asuran architecture, so you might be able to see that, all this nice lighting. And as you can see here, fearing on this map and just basically being controlled or pushed by enemy players can really wreck your game because you can fall off platforms. You can even fall to your death if you're not careful. So any build that's really making use of uh, moving enemies, pushing enemies back will be fairly effective on this game mode uh, on this map. Also you can see here there is a sort of a beam coming down on the control point and that is the sky hammer which is what the map is named after. Now you may have seen earlier in when I was looking up into the air there's this platform with a big gun on it. Now that big gun fires this beam uh, and it can be calibrated to either team so either team can get control of it and once they have control over it they can pretty much destroy. Uh, it does an area of effect on the map. It does 10,000 damage and knocks you over. And that can be pretty devastating in a big team fight. So that's something worth taking into account when you're playing on uh, this map. Uh, in terms of balance, this map seems fairly balanced. I haven't really seen any really one-sided games. Unless, you know, someone from the other team has left. Or one team is just generally better. Uh, obviously here I'm using these ledges. Uh, just to get a better look around the map and see what's going on. Now, despite this, I've got to have a bit of a rant about the Skyhammer itself. It's a really cool feature, and I really like it, and it's really awesome to have that on a map. And I'm always welcoming new ideas from ArenaNet. But I have noticed that one balance issue concerning the Skyhammer, and this is probably my only issue with this map, is that once one team gets hold of it and starts really steamrolling, if they start steamrolling without the Skyhammer, and they, then they get the Skyhammer, they're going to keep steamrolling. Even though it's fairly easy to take the Skyhammer off the enemy team, you just have to go through a portal, which is down from the ledge that I'm standing on at the moment, and then you just fight them and you kill them, and then you can calibrate it for your team. It seems a little bit difficult once one team is doing well and they have the Skyhammer to take it back, because they can just fire a missile down, some sort of beam of death, wherever you're trying to capture, and they can do that for pretty much the whole map, apart from in the spawn areas. Which means it's really difficult, once you're losing, to start winning again, and that's something I don't like to see. I like to see underdogs being able to come back from it. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just about surviving, <laughs> um, with the help of my teammate. But besides that, I really do enjoy this map. I really think it's quite good, even though I'm a bit of an SPVP scrub. 
this has been really fun to play. So, my verdict on it, I guess, is a plus. Uh, but I'm not entirely... I'm, I'm not, you know, completely won over by it. You know, there might be some other new stuff that's coming out. And, honestly, the Structure Piggy maps I saw already were already quite fun. And it would have been nice to see them add more to the game and not just this and some jumping puzzles and Sanctum Sprint. But nonetheless, I'm actually quite happy with this update. Uh, like I said before in my last video, I'm actually quite enjoying it. More than I did uh, uh, Sky Pirates of Tyria or the Dragon Bash. I wasn't really that into the, any of them and I was busy leveling as well. See, this guy denies as a kill. Um, but yeah, it's not amazing. But it's really fun and you guys should check it out if you're into structure PvP or even if you're not, just give this map a try. Uh, I've been playing it both in like sort of custom matches and in uh, tournament style matches and it is really awesome just being able to jump around like that is just one reason enough to play it. And yeah, I think that's more or less all I can say about this map. Uh, just play it and you'll get an idea for it. Here you can see we start to stomp the other team and that's probably like I say, my only big issue with it, that once you start stomping, it's hard to not stomp. Maybe that's just the case with anything, or any map in a game. If one team is better than the other, or one team just gets an advantage early on. But it's nice to see a team be able to come back from losing. Also, I'd probably like to say that I've been playing on my Warrior a little bit. As you probably know from my previous videos, I only play an Elementalist. Uh, but I've started playing a Warrior in Structured PvP, because it's really fun. And as you can see, the uh, blue team actually managed to get the Skyhammer, uh, but it's a bit too late because we are about to win. So maybe I should eat my own words there, maybe it is possible to take it back, but I don't think we were using it by that point, and we were too busy spawn camping, shamefully. So that wraps me up for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'm going to be putting out some more stuff uh, over the next few days, but from the 18th, sorry, to the 24th, I will not be around, so... Please don't expect any videos from me during that time. But afterwards, I will be coming back. I'll be doing more Team Fortress 2 gameplay and some more Guild Wars 2 gameplay. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this one after the 24th. And I'll see you later.